Jeff Ryan! Whoa! Just got hooked up. Yeah, I get. I got some great footage and I'm going home with fish. So it's off to the kitchen in the new kitchen and time to dream up a new recipe for Thresher Shark Fisherman Belly Style. Hey gang, welcome to the brand new season of Fisherman's Belly in our brand new kitchen studio. We are so excited. Oh my God, we're going to be cooking up so many fish dishes inside this kitchen. I can't wait. And today we're going to start off with my absolute favorite seafood fish in the whole world and that is thresher shark. Not only thresher shark, but thresher shark belly. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this thresher shark belly and we're gonna make a Hawaiian pokey. I lived and worked in Hawaii and absolutely fell in love with pokey. I ate it every day. So many different kinds of pokies. Believe me, you can find pokey in grocery stores, in mom and pop shops. They, they serve pokey all over the place and I ate it every day. I want to share it with you guys because pokey is becoming an American favorite. From the East Coast to the West Coast, there are pokey shops opening up everywhere. And we fishermen have a super huge advantage. We get the freshest fish there is, our own catch. So, once you become proficient in making pokey, start Googling it, looking up different variations, you're gonna love pokey. And nutritious, I eat it in the morning, 30 grams of protein in the morning, pokey, oh. Anyway, Hawaiian pokey, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cube this up, we're gonna add cucumbers, green onions, of course we're gonna make a great Hawaiian sauce with simply soy sauce and sesame seed oil. We're going to chop up some seaweed for garnish. We're going to use nuts. Of course, in Hawaii, they use kukui nuts. I absolutely love kukui nuts, but I couldn't find any. So I've got pistachios. Pistachios are excellent. These are shelled and ready to go. And to top everything off, we've got some sea salt. So I can't wait. I just can't wait. First thing I got to do is put on my new apron. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Wow. Are you guys jealous or what? Check this out. Oh my God. Welcome to Fisherman's Belly. Here we go. Thresher Shark Belly Pokey. All right, fellas. The very first thing we're going to do is make our, our pokey sauce out of soy sauce and sesame. The reason we're going to do that initially is so that we allow some time for the flavors to marry and then at the very end of the assembly we'll pour the sauce all over the wonderful fish and gobble it down. So let's get going. Okay, quarter cup of soy sauce. There we go. And now a quarter cup of sesame seed oil. Alright. 
We're gonna set this in the refrigerator. And now the next step, which is of course my favorite part, we're gonna take this wonderful Thresher Shark belly and we're gonna cube it up. And just recently, a couple of weeks ago, I acquired these new knives, they're called CUDA. And I'm just so impressed with how flexible and how sharp and how good they feel in my hands. You can find out more about these knives on CUDA Brands on Facebook, but I'm telling you, wow, I love these knives. Watch them in action, here we go. All right, so we want probably, I don't know, a quarter inch, maybe half inch at the most, but not small cubes. Look at this thresher belly. Oh my God. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm letting you guys in on a big secret with this thresher shark belly. You're never gonna give your thresher shark away again. I guarantee it. And there we have it, off to the refrigerator. All right, next step. Next step, now that the uh, Thresher Shark is in the refrigerator getting nice and cold, it's time to chop up these veggies. I'm telling you, we're keeping this so simple. We only have cucumbers, these are Persian cucumbers, and some green onions, so here we go. And there we have it. We're getting close, we're getting really close. Seaweed, I'm gonna take this seaweed and I'm gonna cut it into really thin ribbons. Not only is this gonna be a visually exciting on top of our dish, but it's gonna add a nice salty bite. I love seaweed, it's incredible stuff. And then we've got our pistachio nuts. I'm gonna coarse chop these nuts and on pokey, especially Hawaiian pokey, the only way to go. Wow. Oh, wow. Perfect. And now, gang, for my favorite, favorite part, final assembly. And why is this my favorite part? Because I get to eat really soon. So the general rule of thumb is you want to have the same amount of vegetables as you have fish. Last but not least, a little pinch of coarse sea salt. And there you have it, Jesus. And so here you have it, boys. Thresher Shark Belly Hawaiian Pokey. You saw how easy it was to make, and I let you in on a secret. That Thresher Shark Belly is insane. If you can't get your hands on Thresher Shark Belly, eh, bluefin belly will do, yellowtail belly will do, some nice high quality yellowfin tuna or bluefin tuna. Believe me, you gotta try pokey. This is a basic Hawaiian pokey. It's delicious, trust me. I can't wait to chew this down. We'll see you guys next time inside the fisherman's belly.